Hey everybody, it's Cody from Road to Whitetail. And in this week's episode of This or That, with um, turkey season right around the bend, we're gonna talk about two different sets of arrows. So, we're gonna talk about a, a hand feathered, longer vein, or fleshing, and a shorter plastic fleshing. So, from our experience, and what we've seen from shooting both, and, I, and you're gonna laugh, but I should carry both in my quiver. So, from a shorter vein, we're getting a little more penetration, um, also has a lot to do with the broadhead, but we're getting a little more penetration due to the velocity and the speed of the arrow, whereas with the, the longer fleshing and a, and a hand-feathered um, and a hand feathered feel, we're getting um, a little more accuracy, believe it or not. So these are both beam and arrows. We're hitting, shooting a 400 grain, we're pulling about 70 pounds, um, and the flight pattern on both of them is pretty great, but we want to talk to you guys a little bit about both. So we're going to shoot a couple arrows from 20 yards. All right, guys, so now we're going to fling a couple arrows. One with the, fle with the feather fleshing, one with the plastic. From 20 yards, we're gonna see what happens. All right, so first shot, a little off the mark, but second shot will be with the plastic fleshing. Like I said, both shooting, shooting both out of a whisker basket. See if you can put it on the money. All right guys, so first off, we're gonna take a look at these shorter veined arrows. So this is an inch and three eighths. We have a little bit of a thicker plastic here and we're shooting it out of a whisker basket. So on the shorter veined arrows, what we're seeing is that we're getting a little more velocity. We're getting a little more velocity which is leading to a little better penetration, but penetration also has to do with the broadhead. Um, but the biggest downfall we're seeing is we're not getting as much accuracy as we are out of the, the, the um, the, the feathered fleshing and the handcrafted fleshing. But all in all, these are a fast zipping arrow and we're shooting about 340 feet per second. All right guys, so unlike the shorter plastic fleshing, we're looking at a three inch handcrafted feather fleshing. So these almost polar opposite to the, the, hand, uh, to the plastic fleshing, we're getting a little less uh, velocity as far as feet per second, but I feel like I can fling this arrow wherever I want. So for us, primarily deer hunting, um, looking for shots realistically 30 yards and in, this thing is giving us accuracy and we can put it wherever we want. Um, so if you're looking to fling arrows 50, 60 yards, maybe you maybe you look at something like the, the plastic shorter fleshing, but for the feathered, this thing, you can throw it wherever you want it. So both shots, decent. The, uh, the feather fleshing was a little low, but both right in, the, right in the double longer as far as this thing's concerned. All right guys, so if I'm going this being the plastic fleshing or that being the um, handcrafted feather fleshing, I'm going that. Uh, call me a creature of habit, but I'm always knocking this arrow first. Um, I personally, I prefer accuracy over dist over speed, just because I know if I'm making a good shot and it's within 30 yards, I'm gonna hit it, hit it through and through anyway. Um, but. You know, call me crazy, I carry, carry both my quiver, you never know. Um, let me know what you guys are doing as far as knocking your arrows, and good luck this season. Follow us at Road to Whitetail.